Whoa. 285. Dang. Ever wonder how hot your brakes get on a long downhill? If you've ever heard the sound of sizzling skin on your brake rotor, hit that subscribe button. Oh my God. Today we have a little bit of a fun project. We wouldn't quite call it scientific because there's a lot of variables going on here, but it's good enough for what we were trying to do. This all started in the shop while we were sitting around talking about brake temperatures, different brands, rotors, uh, rotor thicknesses, and kind of just wanted to come out and see how big of a difference we could get TRPs, DHR Evo brakes, some SRAM Code RSCs, and behind me, the Shimano XT with the Icetech Frieza rotors. We get a lot of test bikes and we have ridden countless numbers of SRAM and Shimano brakes. Uh, the TRP brakes, as you've probably figured out, are very high on our personal choice list. We love the way these brakes perform. And that's kind of what drove us out here to sort of experiment with these different brake rotors and calipers and see what sort of temperatures we can get. What we did today was two riders took two laps and we basically took temperature readings at the bottom of each run and we compared our, our numbers and we wanted to see which brakes felt the best, offered the most power, and best lever feel at the end of the run, which ones got the hottest and which ones stayed coolest. Let's get into it and see which brakes did best. Dropping in. Brakes felt good on that whole section. No change in performance, consistent lever feel, good power. Everything felt good. Dragging the brakes right now at 10 miles an hour. Let's get to section number two. Oh my God. Temps are climbing now that we're parked. 175. Wow. Oh, another brake point dump. Nice and consistent braking feel here. I'm riding the XT4 Pistons. Even there where I'm braking hard the entire trail, just on the edge of a skid, she hooks up the whole time and really doesn't fade. Kind of let off, but yeah, she's working great. Woo! All right, we got 195 with caliper. Let's see what Sour Patch has. See what the heaters are. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Temps just jumped. Here we go. Now temps are at 210. Ooh. Yeah, so you just jumped up. So we just finished run one of our second timed trail. We're gonna do a bike swap, go back up, do it again, and uh, we'll see how the temps fluctuate between riders and their braking styles on, on each different bike and see what the temps are on the next one. And essentially what we were trying to focus on was obviously maximum heat at the bottom. So we tried to stop as fast as we could at the bottom of a high speed section after a, a pretty long downhill run. And the other thing that we sort of discovered throughout the testing was going back to back on different bikes, the, the huge difference in brake feel, performance and power. All three of these brakes have very different feels and could be desirable to some and not to others. I feel like I'm having to pull the brake levers harder to get the power that the TRP's had. And anytime that I like let off the brakes where I want to pick up speed, that it 
getting back onto the brakes is a little more effort, but still feel pretty good. So run number two on the Shimano's, 210 degrees. Uh, I felt like towards the bottom, anytime that I would let off the brakes for a moment where I want to pick up speed and get back on the brakes, I had to grab harder to scrub speed once they were hot down here. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling harder. There's not as much total braking force and the modulation goes away the hotter these get. Oh, Nick's on the Srammers. Sram brakes for Nico. What do you got, bud? How do they feel? A lot worse. <laughs> Like my arm pump is significantly more. So these are, whoa, whoa, 285. Dang. <sighs> Braking is definitely better on these things. Almost able to come to a complete stop. Crap. Oh, that felt so good. All right, so you peaked at 175. Oh, hang on, there we go. Now we got 205. I'm not a scientist, but I wanted to have a scientific experiment. And I gotta say, I was slightly disappointed. We've come out to different trails three different times just to try to get temperatures that I felt were like impressive enough or high enough to where it's like, oh wow, like we actually got a good test of these brakes. Basically the lesson I learned is the temperatures don't vary a ton, right? Like it's not like I'm seeing 80 degree swings from one to the other, but 20 degrees is very repeatable. Like we're seeing 20 to 40, sometimes a 50 degree swing on this last run. And that's a pretty good swing. While the temperatures weren't all that different, we learned a lesson that brake feel, brake power and consistency is dramatically different. And that's something that we as testers know because we are testing bikes, but for the most part, we're riding one bike per that day and we're spending time, we're getting to know it, we're putting it through the cycle. But when we can come out and just do one run after the next run after the next run and just literally hop onto bikes with different brakes, you can really see the difference. And I think arm fatigue and hand fatigue speed, top to bottom run times uh, and confidence are probably the biggest takeaways. It's like SRAM gets a bad rap and stuff, but I mean, sometimes they're a lot more comfortable to ride knowing their consistency, I guess. Like it doesn't change much, at least when I ride them, but like then coming on this and braking power is like immensely noticeable and I just, and faster. The TRPs are like the next level and something if you're, if you're building like the nice bike and you have a little extra cash, I would definitely throw down for these because I think you're going to be more consistent. You're going to be able to be faster and you're going to be able to have, you know, probably a safer ride in the long run because you know how consistent and strong these are. It was interesting to see the temperature swing between the products. Um, it was also really interesting to see the difference in power and consistency throughout the run and how that translated to our lap speed um, and confidence. Brakes are a very personal product. Um, I will say I, I think I do still like the SRAM lever blade most. I think it's the most comfortable, um, but that, that's about it for me on the SRAM stuff. I think power, consistency, reliability, TRP, Shimano, solid, solid option. Uh, yeah, nevertheless, it's been fun and a little stressful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you guys following the channel. It would help us immensely. So go ahead and click that. We'll see you guys on the trails for the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>